Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about two amazing math identities, their proof and applications. So first of all, we have this uh, property, which is uh, basically integral from 0 to infinity uh, f of s g of s ds so if in uh, if in such cases where this is difficult to evaluate we can also evaluate the other integral which is equal to this one so other is laplace transform of f and laplace inverse transform of g and then dt so this is certainly helpful in cases like if uh, let's say we have integral from 0 to infinity uh, sine x over x dx so in such cases uh, we can uh, let's say take the laplace transform of sine x which is 1 by t square plus 1 if we take it to the world of t and the laplace inverse transform of 1 by x which is just a constant let's say 1 and then dt and now this is just tan inverse t from 0 to infinity so that's pi by 2 minus 0 and the answer is pi by 2 if we didn't if we do not have this math identity in hand this integral can be really difficult to evaluate but math identity made it really really simple so that's why this one is a powerful theorem now if we have to prove this uh, it's not that difficult too so let's say we have this integral f of s g of s ds now let's say that g of s is a laplace transform of s of t so laplace transform of s of t now this means that it's integral from 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t s of t dt yeah this is laplace transform and now if we substitute it back here we have integral from 0 to infinity f of s the integral from 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t s of t dt now since this integral is in the world of t this one is a constant and because it's in the world of s and so can be brought inside the integral from 0 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity f of s e to the power minus s t s of t dt now since both limits are uh, have constant uh, limits of integration so they can be exchanged so yeah integral from 0 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity yeah and now oh 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 so basically this will also have a ds over here yeah ds over here okay so now we can extend this too now the first integration will be in terms of world of s if we extend that limits of integration so we have ds dt ds dt so basically since these limits of integration were just constant values we could extend them and now uh, now for this integration of ds s of t is constant and can be brought out integral from 0 to infinity we have s of t outside integral from 0 to infinity let's say e to the power minus ts f of s ds dt so now since i have extended this you might have noticed the reason since we have f of s so I, I extend those so that t will be a constant and now this is the laplace transform which bring which takes f to the world of t so in, integral from 0 to infinity s of t and then this is laplace transform of f taking it to the world of t from the world of s and then dt now we know that s of t is s of t is just the laplace inverse transform of g of s 
since the s was laplace transform as a t so this one is integral from 0 to infinity it is a laplace inverse transform of g in, in the world of t and this one is laplace transform of f in the world of t dt so let's see we have uh, proved the theorem uh, since this is also a cost integral from 0 to infinity g of t f sorry let's say g of s f of s ds okay so this was the theorem An integral from 0 to infinity of f g ds is equal to laplace of f laplace inverse of g dt and the same units so the first math identity is proved now let us begin with the second math identity but before that uh, let us solve this okay fine <coughs> now the second one is also a quite a little property uh, and um, this one says that summation if we have to do summation from n equals to 1 to infinity for f of f f of n doing summation might be a quite a tougher task since we don't know summation values for many functions but doing integral is easy, easier task so this one is equals to laplace inverse transform of f bringing it to the world of t divided by e to the power t minus 1 dt so this property can be rephrased in a different way so we can also say that we have here all s of t by e to the power t minus 1 dt then here we should have a laplace transform of s of t from n equals 1 to infinity laplace transform of s of t and Laplace transform of f in the world of n. Okay, so we, we can try to prove this identity as well. So by proving this one, uh, we, uh, we can uh, start in the following way. We have integral from 0 to infinity. So this is not Laplace, so this is integral. Integral from 0 to infinity. S of t by e to the power t minus 1. So if the numerator is to the power t minus 1, we have a specific uh, trick to begin. We can have s of t and then we have multiply numerator and denominator by e to the power minus t. That gives us 1 minus e to the power minus t dt. Now it's something like a by 1 minus r. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And when t goes uh, from 0 to infinity, so the, mo the modulus of the ratio to the, uh, this one will also be less than one so we can apply that formula from geometric progression we have integral from zero to infinity s of t and then this will be uh, summation summation uh, from n equals to one to infinity first term is e to the power minus t and ratio is also this one so e to the power minus t to the power n should work and then dt so now we can extend summation and integral sign since for every values of t that the integral is going from the sum will converge so we can extend them now so we can have summation from n equals to 1 to infinity and here uh, over here we can write 0 to infinity integral and s of t e to the power minus n t dt now you can notice that this is just the Laplace transform which is uh, taking s of t uh, into the world of n so the Laplace transform takes s of t into the world of n so yeah summation from n equals to 1 to infinity this is a Laplace transform of our s which takes it into the world of n. So you see, we have proved this statement that uh, 
the Synergy College equals to summation of from n equals 1 to infinity and then Laplace transform of h into the world of n which is what we get here now as the application of this identity of match uh, we have a really cool summation so if you want to have the summation sum from n equals to 2 to infinity uh, 4n minus 3 by sorry by n times sorry again n times n square minus 1 so first of all we will try to uh, take the sum beginning from n equals to 1 that's why uh, we can begin it from n equals to 1 to infinity and then we can keep over here n plus 1 minus 3 by n plus 1 and then that's n square plus 2n plus 1 minus 1 get cancels out and we have summation from n equals to 1 to infinity and this one is 4n plus 1 by n n plus and this one is n plus 1 okay so n n plus 1 n plus 2 now we can use partial fractions and basically I, I will use cover up method to solve this partial fraction uh, we, have, we can have n and uh, for making it 0 we need 0 so that's 4 into 0 plus 1 by if you put 0 over here it's 1 times 2 ok so next one we have n plus 1 we need to have minus 1 to make it 0 so 4 into minus 1 plus 1 by okay here minus one and for this one we will just cover this up for this one we will have one plus n plus two uh, four into minus two plus one and we'll we put it here minus two and the other one minus minus one and this will cover this up yeah okay not fine this is one plus n plus one so we get sum from n equals to 1 to infinity this will be 1 over 2 by n the other will be minus 4 minus 3 minus 3 minus 1 is it is it minus 3 by minus 1 yeah so it's just 3 by n plus 1 this is minus 7 minus 7 by 2 okay so that's minus 7 by 2 by n plus 2 now after this up we are after this one we are going to put Laplace transform and change it to integral so integral from 0 to infinity 1 by 2 Laplace transform of 1 by s is just constant okay and uh, over e to the power s minus 1 yeah and Laplace transform of, of uh, 1 by s plus 1 so basically for 1 by s is just constant but since we have plus 1 over here it could, we need to bring e to the power minus 1 s yeah mm, okay so it's better if I do this with t rather than s this t seems more appropriate for integral and 3 times e to the power minus 1 t by e to the power t minus 1 and uh, for this one we have minus 7 by 2 and we have e to the power minus 2t for this plus 2 by e to the power t minus 1 dt now now we can take the LCM because all of the denominators are same so e to the power t minus 1 and uh, this one for this one mm. Uh, yeah this was product one i guess yeah okay so we have one by two plus three to the power minus t minus seven by two to the power minus two t dt okay now we might also want to get some over there in the numerator and that gives us uh two sorry 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 to the power t minus one 2 times e to the power t minus 1 and also we can take LCM for this e power so we will have e to the power 2t plus 6 e to the power t 
minus 7 over here we have e to the power 2t now it seems like this can be factorized okay so we will have e to the power 2t plus 7 e to the power t minus e to the power t minus 7 by 2 e to the power t minus 1 e to the power 2t dt integral from 0 to infinity we can take it to the power t common e to the power t e to the power t plus 7 minus 1 e to the power t plus 7 by 2 e to the power t minus 1 e to the power 2 t d t it's just kind of some algebraic manipulation and nothing more I, I hope you can get through it easily so I'm not basically explaining these stuff these are some middle display stuff I guess so 2 times e to the power t minus 2 times e to the power t minus 1 e to the power 2t t, d t ok now this get cancels out and we just have 1 by 2 integral from 0 to infinity e to the power minus t plus 7 times e to the power minus 2t t, d t now it's easy e to the power minus t by minus 1 yeah plus 7 times e to the power minus 2t by minus 2 from 0 to infinity 1 by 2 at infinity 0 at infinity 0 and at 0 it's plus 1 at 0 it's plus 7 by 2 okay. and now that's 1 by 2 into 9 by 2 so that's 9 by 4 Okay, so that's the answer. We solve this summation using integrals, and the answer is 9 by 4. Along with the summation identity, it would have been a lot tougher, but integral really helped us since we have been quite equipped with integrals and how to do, deal them. And yeah, so that's what the power of math identity is. Both of them are extremely powerful for solving problems, though. Their proofs are really simple, but their powers are really amazing. I hope you enjoyed these identities. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you like this video and the way we deal with things, do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.